The liver is the largest internal organ in the body. Among its jobs is helping to digest food and getting rid of waste. Unfortunately, disease and other factors can lead to liver failure. At any given time, there's about 10,000 people waiting for a liver transplant in this country. And every year we add another 10,000 to the waiting list. For Mayo Clinic transplant surgeon, Dr. Timuchin Tanner, it's a frustrating situation. The waiting list is not changing because we're able to transplant only about 10,000 of them with uh, deceased donor livers. What can make a difference is living donors. Even though you only have one liver, you can still be a living donor. Based on liver's amazing ability to regenerate, once you do this operation, you remove part of the liver, the remaining liver, as well as the part that goes to the recipient, starts growing right away and it becomes a full-size liver within about three to four weeks. Not every donor is going to be a compatible match for an intended recipient. That's where paired donation comes in. There are several situations where the donor may not be suitable or compatible with the intended recipient. In that situation, if they're clear to donate, then they can donate to somebody else who is compatible to them and that recipient's donor can donate to the initial recipient. So we're just allowing these donors to give the gift that they're intended to give. Dr. Tanner led the team that completed Mayo's first paired liver transplant in August of 2024. It was initiated by an altruistic donor. Dr. Tanner says paired liver transplants are not as common as paired kidney transplants, in part because of the logistics involved. You have to have a big team and this big team includes nurse coordinators who work day in and day out with donors and recipients, the social work and independent liver donor advocate team, as well as the physicians, the surgeons. While the hope is to be able to do more of these procedures, the biggest hurdle is the number of donors. I would encourage people to look into the transplant programs to see if they can donate, make a decision based on that information. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Joel Street.